Last week, we told you about a church pantry that caught fire in Altamont Springs. We also showed you how they were serving the community the very next day. And we also found that mostly because of the volunteers led by one man who has been at the center of pantry activities for decades. Matt Austin is here with his story. Well, his hard work, positive attitude, and love for his community earned him this week's Getting Results Award. This is, uh, this is our normal Friday distribution uh, that we do. A normal Friday, yes. It's just another day outside the Apostolic Church of Jesus in Altamont Springs. We're doing something very good in the neighborhood. The food pantry is open for business, just like it's always been. We haven't missed a, a day. We, we haven't missed a beat. Remarkable when you realize what happened here only days earlier. It was heartbreaking. Well, it was uh, a fire, and that's why you see it's boarded up today. The vegetables and canned goods are now in the shadow of what remains of the storage and prep building. I was like, oh no, not the food, babe. Yeah, we're making it. We're going to make it. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to make it. Herbert Bowie knows despite the setback, food distribution must go on. I do, Ms. Pam. Bowie's been stretching gloves over his well-worn hands here five days a week for 22 years. I don't know how he does it. I'm just a, I'm just a little hard working. And my wife would say, uh, don't stay home, man. He'll tell you he's motivated by need, the need in his community and his need to stay busy. He's the first one that come and the last one that leaves. They, you know, sometimes they say if you sit down, they lay you down. So I'm not, uh, I'm not finna do neither one of them yet. At 73, Bowie seems to move a little slower than he once did. But as you'll see, he always seems to stay optimistic. I think it's a blessing. I wish it was 53, but, you know, 73 I'm all right with. Yes, he does. He sees positive in everything. In fact, if there's a silver lining in a devastating fire, he is bound to find it. A lot of people, when they go through this type of thing, they say, oh, it's a setback. Not a setback for us. Just another day filled with hope, faith, and hard work. I'll say that's pretty special. Oh yeah, we got a lot to clean up. But like I said, that's, that's life. It, it, it happens sometimes for the, for the better, you know? So now we'll be able to probably go back with a bigger, better building and who knows, uh, probably give out more food. No, no, it's not gonna stop. Now, more food might seem like an impossible task. Bowie and his volunteers handed out more than 1.5 million meals last year, earning wow. them the Grocery Alliance Partnership Award from Second Harvest Food Bank. The food bank will also be on hand tomorrow for another mobile distribution. You know, some people, you just like the way they move through life. Yes. Uh, he just has a way about him, very calm. Yes. That is a passion and a calling, especially for Does a lot of good. To be sure. back the next day. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. I mean, I love that he's, it's like a phoenix rising from the ashes, yes. and he's not letting that stop him at all. Yeah. That's fun. fantastic. Yes. All right, thanks, Matt.